a picture got posted of the meal. The, the same thing happened with the MLS, by the way. The MLS peop, uh, guys, whenever they got down there, the MLS schedule, we learned from Tony Miola, was insane. They're going to get meals brought to their rooms, basically. You're going to be watching film in there. You can only leave to train and, and for the games, and you're right back. And then the meals, you always just assume, like, well, if the meals are coming, then the guys are just going to be able to pick whatever the hell they want to eat, and then they'll just come up and be like, room service. Classic yeah. room service, get three times. But I guess when you're dealing with that large amount of people there's probably set meals that they bring in at certain times so everybody's kind of eating sam i guess that makes a lot more sense logistically wise so the mlb put out a uh one M uh, mls player put out a picture and it looked bad it looked like a fire fest meal and then now yeah, exactly that was the mls one and it turns out that was not allegedly a meal that was just like a holdover snack until they got officially checked in and mm -hmm. it was like a welcome snack but the mls player was like is this what i'm gonna be eating for the next 40 <laughs> days this is gonna be a problem same thing happened with the nba guy posted this photo of the meals that they were giving and uh it was one of these things where you see no protein in there okay you see salad you see some watermelon you see a shake you see it looks like an airplane meal yeah. it looks like an airplane mm -hmm. meal but without the main course that picture was posted and it says uh tuesday july 7th dinner you got some uh fresh garden greens some <laughs> arugula watermelon all this stuff and that obviously went hot around the internet Isaiah Thomas even tweeted saying, I cannot wait to see LeBron James eat this for his meal. Turns out this was just a snack to hold over, I guess. They brought in a massive piece of meat on the tray later in the night that the NBA was like, excuse me, we're not eating that trash tray this entire time. So it is like we all want this to fail, right? We all want the food, the, the setup to fail because it sounds so stringent. But I feel like the leagues legitimately are trying their best to make this as good as possible. But I just don't know, living in a hotel for 40, 50 days, how good it can be. And I assume there's only going to be more and more of these types of things popping up on the internet as we go here. So sorry to interrupt. If you're a man watching this, you deserve to have long, great and you can do that now with our friends at Roman. Right now, you go to GetRoman.com, you get $10 off and free two-day shipping on Roman Swipes, which are guaranteed to make you have longer, more fulfilling every time you get in the sack. Now, let's get back to the fornicate in action. Probably just startling to the players to get that, like, as even if it is just a welcome meal or whatever, to, snack, get, the, yes. to get that at, like, to see that and be like, is this what it's going to be like for at least a month? Is this my life now? Is this what I'm eating right here? You have got to be kidding me, but... What are we going to hear in 15 days, 20 days yeah, yeah. from now? Well, mm. And like to your point, like, you know, typically like, I mean, those menus at like a, a nice resort like that are pretty big. Like if there's that many people, I don't, I think it's probably going to be like, hey, you want steak or chicken? Yeah. And it's like, going to be like wedding. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's going to be like wedding stuff. Are you want steak or chicken or, or you would like a vegan option? Okay. This is what we got because we got to serve a thousand people here every single three times a day, every single night, which I would assume some of those bigger hotels are ready to go and yeah. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But some of those smaller hotels that maybe the MLS is at or, or maybe the bottom tier of the oh, the WNBA. That is going to be in a wild scene. And every, well, you're getting paid a lot of money to play basketball. I agree. Hey, I agree. But let's just talk about the if you were in their shoes type situation. It's going to be, it's going to be interesting to unfold. I